Okay, so I literally just finished my cup. So, this is my real first 30. Because I just put the cup in the sink. I haven't taken long at all drinking it. Experiment number two, because I'm actually doing this in the, well, it's right after the afternoon. Like, it's, it's literally only 12.50. I usually take this drink, like, later on in the day, like, around 4 or 5 or something like that. That's when I usually take it. So, I'm taking it earlier than I usually do just to do another experiment. So, do I have another story to tell? Good question. I'm going to think about this story. You gotta think of the story. Right. This one is goes here on the Okay, maybe we could start with my second day of drinking the cannabis drink. So my second day this because I was in such shock that the medicine was working very well. I was a bit hesitant to just get some more because um, <laughs> I'm feeling like guilt connected to the feeling of being high. And I feel this guilt because of so much trauma within my DNA that I'm connected to. And I'm just worried about not being able to manage myself. And I'm overthinking it. And that's what I was doing. So I was allowing myself to be in pain for like half of the day because the pain that I feel with my nerve issues is like, it's constant. It's a constant ongoing feeling. And the drink gives me a temporary shut off like from the pain which helps me to function so that I don't stop doing what I'm doing just because I'm feeling pain so yeah I waited till my husband got off of work to have him make me some more and once he did I was really happy but also by the time he did I kind of did everything that I was gonna do anyways 
because I didn't want to, that was another thing, like I didn't want, I didn't want to depend on this drink to do what it is that I need to do. So I was like, I'm just going to like, just thug it until he gets home and then maybe I won't need it but it's like no I still need it I just I'm not gonna be busy you know it's just gonna help me relax even more um which it did and I was able to meditate like I was saying on the other video um that's what I was doing the second day I was really in meditation listening to that book just like in another world and disbelief and happiness at the same time and There's just something about this medicine and being able to go into meditation and like just completely trust my body to absolutely heal itself. That's an amazing feeling. I... It's like being able to <laughs> being able to have the answers shown to you like if you were to like you know those puzzles where it's like a picture within a picture within a picture type puzzle and it's like you gotta find this picture that's in this really big picture and that's kind of like what the answers are inside of us um that's kind of like you know how i was feeling like something was showing me the answers to the bigger picture to help me relax so that the puzzle could be solved you know my problems could be solved your water is right here So yeah, within all these pi pictures are the answers to our problems and that's kind of how I feel when I'm in meditation after drinking this drink. Like once I do, you know, just do all the things that I, you know, feel like needs to get done around the house. And I can just not be in control. That's like the best feeling. Like, ooh, it feels so good. It feels like... If this is all you can do, 
if all you had, if all, if this was all you had to do, if this was all you had to do, was let go. <laughs> I was taking pictures of myself really fast. This is so weird. I was taking pictures of myself um, before doing this experiment. And I was looking in the mirror. And I was telling myself, okay, don't lift up your eyebrows. Open. <laughs> don't lift up your eyebrows. Open up your eyes. And myself was like. And like I was having trouble. With listening to myself, cause I was still like doing this, thinking I'm opening up my eyes. <laughs> and when I was taking the picture like this, I'm like, whoa, I got some nerve problems. <laughs> I got some real nerve problems. So like when I actually lift my eyelids and open my eyes I feel like this tugging happening is smudged let me see what does smudged mean oh, okay you can throw that in the trash oh no so I'm feeling this tugging happening, like, in my throat. Literally right here is the weirdest, but it's connected to my eyeballs. Okay? It's the weirdest thing. It's connected to my eyeballs. I can feel it, though, when I try to, ooh, when I try to lift up in my eyelids. So that's why my eyelids are always low. I thought that it had something to do with... I thought my eyelids being low had something to do with me smoking weed for 10 years straight. And then, well, you can, sh you can share the last one. You, you, can, sh you can share it. She's going to open it. And then you guys are going to break it in half. So you both will have a half. Oh. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead, sit down. Bless you. Charge. Bless you. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh. Open up your orange. See that? See my my eyelids. My eyelids are lit. Me, my eyelids. <laughs> my eyebrows are lifting because my eyes, my eyelids, they want to be lifted. Okay. So this is how you can tell that I do have a a serious nerve condition. It's so crazy that I found this out too. Like, I'm like, whoa, this is. I can feel like how this is tied to this. So, like, this part is like overactive. Like, I'm always lifting up this part. And then, like, this part is underactive. I think that's the word. I don't really know what the word is I just know that this part hurts and this part hurts too so I don't know I'm working on it though and I'm figuring out and I'm learning that when I just when I just let go like how I be wanting to see that's so weird it's making everything I can feel it all like lift up but anyways and like my eyes they my eyelids they actually always just want to close 
That's another thing, too. Like, if I could just keep my eyes closed, like, everything feels so much better. It doesn't hurt as bad. And it doesn't feel stressed out or anything like that. So, like I said, I'm learning that if, if all we have to do is just let go, everything will absolutely work perfectly. Like, to think that perfect does not exist is so hard for me when I know certain things. Like, I just, it's like, how did that word become a word if it was never a real thing? You know, that's like saying harmony doesn't exist. To think that that is not a real thing is like saying that you want your whole world to to come tumbling down on you. You know, that's literally like saying balance does not exist. I don't know. How is that so? Even if we really thought the world was a sphere, it would have to be in perfect balance in order for, like, <laughs> in order for our, in, in order for everything to operate. Like, however it is that you believe that the world operates, if you do not believe that perfect harmony balance does not exist then your world is just not operating. It's not. I don't see how it is. I don't see how it is. I really don't. If you're a human, if you don't think that enough is perfect harmony balance, then I don't see how you see that you exist. I don't see that. I know that perfect harmony balance exists. I know it does. I know it does. So yeah. What do I eat? I was watching a video about Dr. Sebi's son saying we should drink our pee because it has it has the actual chemicals we need to heal us. I think that is interesting. I have not tried it. I just think that's interesting though. Very interesting. It makes me think of our milk that we produce, I think is very interesting. I have tried a bit of that. <laughs> but yeah, I think, I think being a human is a, an amazing thing. A very amazing creature that's allowed to create as well. I think it's very amazing. And I don't know you know, what I would like to take my learning to. I would just like to keep learning about it, though, as much as I can. I'm going to keep listening to books until I can have enough confidence to read them myself. I'm going to keep listening. And developing myself that's where I, I am right now and yeah I can really feel the effects of the medicine because it's like really making my awareness go to my my places where there's pain it's like It's really making it known right now, and it's relaxing me. I'm just feeling the effects more and more and more. And I think it's funny how it happens. It happens pretty fast. It happens. It happens pretty fast, if you ask me. 
Hold on, 20 minutes. And I'm feeling like just how deep this pain is and like where it's coming from and everything. I'm feeling this right now. I think this is really interesting. I'm thankful that my lips are clearing up. Uh-uh, my lips are clearing up. <laughs> Every time I see this pigmentation, I'm like, wow. That's really coming from my chapstick. I had some on earlier. And it's just, it just keep giving me new skin. That's why it looks like my skin is peeling because it's shedding. It's shedding the 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 bad pigmentation because it's healing it and it's giving me back brand new skin. And it just keeps doing that. It just keeps doing it and keeps doing it, keeps doing it. So my lips may look like they're in an ugly state right now. However, they're really in a healing state. Like, this is what I like about... Yes, we're going to play the memory game in like eight minutes. Okay? <laughs> we're going to play. Oh, don't you guys love that? Yes. That's like a mantra. I love seeing that. This is the growing space where like there's homework being done and there's a library down here full of children's books for them and then we have our library in our room where there's herb books <laughs> self-realization books history books stuff like that and mail <laughs> Yeah. I don't know where I'm gonna take this this learning so far. I just wanna keep learning and see what I come up with. Because I was thinking about being a fitness instructor because I'm working on my health. And it's like my intentions really aren't to be the boss of somebody, you know, like do as I say. However, My intentions are for you to trust what I suggest. Yeah. At least, you know, as far as what my experience is. Okay? Like, and I think that that's very important too because everybody's problems are not the same they're not so I can really only speak for people who have 
I'm not going to say the exact same issue, but any symptom of an issue that you may hear me have. My suggestion is you try what I'm doing. That's really it. I, my intention is for you to trust yourself. And if you came across me, know that you magnetize me because I work strictly off of energy. And that's just really all that it is. You know, we magnetize and we repel. And sometimes, sometimes we can find what we're looking for even when we're not looking for it in particular, you know, or directly, you know, it's just like this, this plethora of things that we're looking for, you know, so you never know when you're going to stumble across the thing that you, you're looking for, you know, even when you don't know that you're looking for it at that time. I know I'm going to come across. <laughs> and I'm thankful for that. And I just want to be trusted like everybody else you know because I can only show up for me and continue for me and be an example for me and keep trusting in me so that's really what I want for all of us you know and here I go with the whole eyebrow thing I'm telling you I'm working on it okay <laughs> <laughs> but my eyes won't let me. That's kind of what it is. Like, my eyes are like, no. Like, you need to keep your eyes down. <laughs> so, yeah, I can just feel all these nerves just talking to me, kind of telling me what to do, what I cannot do. And, yeah. I just, when I notice certain things, it's like, I don't know what else to do except talk about it. <laughs> But, of course, I got to try to stay focused. So, yeah. If we could all just trust ourselves and know that we're doing the best for ourselves, you know. This is where I think we're all going to help change the world by working with ourselves first and foremost. You know. So... That's why I kind of really don't have a, a set thing to discuss, you know, on my page because I'm really just working on my health and I really want the health to be the forefront because I've lost a lot of people due to poor health and, and not healing their DNA and... I feel like that's a challenge, you know, for everybody. And we don't know which way to go. We don't know how to be honest with ourselves, be honest with our ancestors, you know, just, I don't know, just be able to be one without the expectations of what anybody think that it is, you know, I really think it's just, it's just you being able to be in the mirror with yourself, whether that's yourself and another person that's still you, like your spouse, you know, or it's just yourself, you know, because when they walk away, it's still you. You know, and that self is still coming through your children and, you know, everybody else that's attached to you. So, and then yourself, your, your ancestors, you know, the people who are near and dear to you that even just recently passed, you know, they're going to always be in you, you know, you're going to always be able to see them in the things that you do and the things that you say. So, yeah, I'm just working on healing, healing my DNA so I can be more confident in myself and do the things that I want to do that I feel like is going to help change the world.
because we're all a part of that. We're all a part of that. And it's important to make my place known, you know, and just be authentic where I am and be thankful that I mean, I am just where I am. So, that's my first 30 minutes. And this was fun. But yeah, I've been reached my level like a whole 10 minutes ago. It just keeps increasing and keeps increasing and keeps increasing. But that's a learning experience too. You know, because when it first starts off, it's like pain. It's like I said, you can start feeling your pain and becoming more and more aware of your pain and where it's at, like where exactly it's at. And then it starts to turn into a different feeling where it's not pain. It's like it's lifted. It's like it's lifting and lifting and lifting and lifting and lifting and lifting. And lifting. That's the best way that I can explain it. But it, it feels like that pain is always lifting and it's getting more and more and more and more of a lifted feeling off of you. Okay. And if you would just allow yourself to let go, close your eyes, and let your nerves just be relaxed, you will be able to feel these feelings come into oneness and Like you could just feel the healing happening. You, it's it's an it's an amazing feeling. It really is. I'm gonna go play games with my children. <laughs> Maybe I'm the mama. <laughs>